Hello everyone and welcome back to Cute Crafts and Crochet. My name is Sri and in today's video I am going to be showing you how I made this adorable strawberry backpack. It turned out so beautiful and I am so proud of it. Now of course you can use this stitch for other things too like sweaters or purses or hats or you can even make it into a basket like I have done here. So let's get started. Here I am using two strands of yarn together to make a sturdier and chunkier bag. If your yarn is thin like mine and you don't have any thicker yarn available then doubling your yarn is a good alternative. I am going to be using a 6mm crochet hook with this. Start by making a magic circle. To do that loop your yarn up and over your finger forming a cross in the front. Then insert your hook underneath the cross. Take the yarn from the other side and pull through. Yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook and that completes your magic circle and this is what we are going to work into. Start by chaining one and then place one single crochet into the magic circle. To do that insert your hook into the magic circle and pull up a loop. You will have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two and that completes your first single crochet. Let's repeat that one more time. Insert your hook into the magic circle and pull up a loop. You will have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two and that completes another single crochet. Now we are going to do four more single crochets into the magic circle for a total of six. Make sure that you are working over the tail and cinch the circle a little bit if you need to. Once you have made 6 single crochets, go ahead and cinch the center circle closed by pulling on these tails. And that completes your first round. Go ahead and slip stitch on top of that first single crochet to join. At the end of round 1, you will have 6 single crochet stitches. I am going to mark the last stitch here. This is not a real stitch, this is just a fake stitch that was created due to the slip stitch. I am marking this stitch so that we do not work into this one. For round 2, chain 1 to start and then we are going to be placing 2 single crochets into that same stitch. Then into the next stitch we are going to be placing 2 more single crochets into the same stitch. And repeat this 4 more times into the next 4 stitches. Now we are at the end of round 2. At the end you should have 12 single crochet stitches. Remove the stitch marker. And we are not going to be placing stitches into that stitch because it is a fake stitch. Slip stitch on top of that first single crochet to join. Then again mark that last fake stitch of that round. For round 3, chain 1 to start. And place one single crochet into that same stitch. Then place two single crochets into the next stitch. Again one single crochet into the third stitch. And then two single crochets into the fourth stitch. And repeat the sequence all the way around. One single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet like that. At the end of round 3 you will have 18 single crochet stitches all the way around. Remove your stitch marker and then slip stitch on top of that first single crochet to join. Mark the last fake stitch of the round. As you can see, I am keeping my stitches fairly tight so that I don't have to line the bag afterwards. For round 4, chain 1 to start. 
Then place one single crochet into that first stitch. One single crochet into the second stitch. And then two single crochets into the third stitch. We are going to be repeating this sequence of one single crochet into the next two stitches and then two single crochets into the third stitch all the way around. At the end of round 4 you will have 24 single crochet stitches. Remove your stitch marker. And then slip stitch on top of that first single crochet to join. For round 5, chain 1 and then place 1 single crochet into the first 3 stitches. Then place 2 single crochets into the 4th stitch. And repeat this sequence of 1 single crochet into the next 3 stitches and then 2 single crochets into the 4th stitch all the way around. At the end of round 5 you should have 30 single crochet stitches and you should always be working 2 single crochets into the last stitch. If you have not done that you might have done something wrong in your work and you might want to recheck that. Remove the stitch marker and then slip stitch on top of the first single crochet to join. For round 6, chain 1 to start and then place 1 single crochet into the next 4 stitches. Then place 2 single crochets into the 5th stitch. And then repeat the sequence of 1 single crochet in the next 4 stitches and then 2 single crochets into the 5th stitch all the way around. At the end of the round remove the stitch marker and then slip stitch on top of the first single crochet to join. At the end of round 6 you should have 36 single crochet stitches. For round 7 we are going to chain 1 to start and then place 1 single crochet into the first 5 stitches. Then we are going to be placing 2 single crochets into the next stitch. And we are going to be repeating this sequence of 1 single crochet into the next 5 stitches and then 2 single crochets into the next stitch all the way around. In the end remove the stitch marker and slip stitch on top of the first single crochet to join. At the end of round 7 you should have 42 single crochet stitches. For round 8, chain 1 to start and then place 1 single crochet into the first 6 stitches. Then place 2 single crochets into the 7th stitch. Continue with the sequence of 1 single crochet into the next 6 stitches and then 2 single crochets into the 7th stitch all the way around. In the end slip stitch on top of the first single crochet to join. At the end of round 8 you will have 48 single crochet stitches. For round 9 chain 1 to start and then place 1 single crochet into the next 7 stitches.
Then place two single crochets into the next stitch and repeat this sequence all the way around. At the end of round 9 you will have 54 single crochet stitches all the way around. For round 10, chain 1 and then 1 single crochet into the next 8 stitches. Then 2 single crochets into the next stitch. Repeat this sequence all the way around. At the end of round 10, you will have 60 single crochet stitches all the way around. For round 11, chain 1 and then 1 single crochet into the next 9 stitches. Then 2 single crochets into the 10th stitch and repeat this pattern all the way around. At the end of round 11 you will have 66 single crochet stitches all the way around. For round 12 chain 1 and then place 1 single crochet into the next 10 stitches. This is going to be our last increase round. Then place 2 single crochets into the 11th stitch and then repeat this sequence all the way around. At the end of round 12 you will have 72 single crochet stitches. This is how large I have decided to make the base of the bag and it measures around 7 inches in diameter. Keep in mind that your bag will end up a little bit larger than this. Round 13 is going to be slightly different. We are going to be working into the back loops only. So chain 1 to start and then place single crochets into the back loops only. Go through the back loop of the first stitch and make one single crochet. This V here is your stitch. Go through the back loop only of that stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two and that completes your back loop single crochets. Now go on and repeat this all the way around. At the end of round 13 you will have 72 single crochet stitches. Slip stitch on top of the first single crochet to join. For round 14 chain 1 to start and we are going to be placing one single crochet in each and every stitch all the way around. At the end of round 14 you will again have 72 stitches, slip stitch on top of the first single crochet to join. Then we are going to repeat round 14 4 more times so for rounds 15, 16, 17 and 18. Here I have made the 4 rounds, now I am at round 18. How many rows you wish to make will depend on how high up you want your round of strawberries. Round 19 is again going to be worked into the back loops only. Chain 1 to start and then place 1 single crochet in each of the stitches into the back loops. At the end of round 19 you will again have 72 stitches. Rounds 20 and 21 are going to contain your strawberry stitches. Chain 1 to start and then place 1 single crochet into the first stitch. For the next stitch start like you normally would. But then instead of yarning over with your yellow color, yarn over with red instead.
Now the red color is joined. We are going to work six double crochets into the next stitch using the red color, and we are going to be working over the yellow and the red tail. To make a double crochet, yarn over once. Insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. You will have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two, and that completes one double crochet stitch. We are going to do five more double crochets into the same stitch. For the last double crochet, start like you normally would. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. When you have two loops remaining on your hook, instead of yarning over with your red, drop your red color, pick up your yellow and yarn over with that instead. Now you have changed your color back to yellow. Into the next stitches, we are going to be working three single crochets into the next three stitches using the yellow color, and we are going to be working over the red tail. Make two single crochets normally into the next two stitches. and also carry your red yarn along for the third stitch start like you normally would but then instead of yarning over with your yellow color yarn over with your red color instead that changes your color back to red into the next stitch we are again going to make six double crochet stitches which will create the fan shape like this one here and you are going to carry the yellow yarn along On the last double crochet, change your color back to yellow. Now we are going to repeat the sequence of one single crochet into the next three stitches, and then one fan shape with six double crochets into the next stitch, all the way around. Here I have made the last fan shape. Now I am going to make one single crochet into the last remaining stitch. then slip stitch on top of the first single crochet to join and that brings you to the end of round 20 in the end you should have 18 fan stitches all the way around leave a little bit of tail and snip the red on round 21 we are going to make the leaves of the strawberries chain one and single crochet into the same stitch into the next stitch start like you normally would but then Instead of yarning over with your yellow color, change your color to green. Then we are going to go in between two double crochet stitches, not into the stitch, in between the two double crochet stitches and pull up a loop. Again, go in between the next two double crochet stitches right here and pull up a loop. again between the next two stitches and do that two more times and that is your strawberry stitch Now make one single crochet into the next single crochet tightly like so. Your stitch will get tucked in like this but don't worry about it you can pop it out afterwards. Make one single crochet into the next stitch. For the next stitch start like you normally would but then change your color to green. Then crochet six double crochets together. by going in between the stitches change the color back to yellow and then pull through all six loops on your hook 
you are going to repeat this pattern of 3 single crochets and then 6 double crochets together all the way around and you can pop out your puff strawberry stitches as you go at the end of round 21 slip stitch on top of the first single crochet to join Snip the green yarn leaving a little bit of tail. We are going to weave in these tails afterwards. For round 21, chain 1 to start and then place 1 single crochet in each and every stitch all the way around. Single crochet into the first stitch. And on top of that puff strawberry stitch, make one single crochet as well and repeat this all the way around. At the end of round 22, you will have 72 single crochet stitches. Now I am going to repeat round 22 3 more times. So for rounds 23, 24 and 25. Now I have made 25 rounds. For round 26, chain 1. This round is going to be worked into the back loops only. So insert your hook into the back loop and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two and repeat this all the way around. At the end of the round slip stitch on top of the first single crochet to join. Now if you want to leave it as a basket you can stop at this stage and make the frills like I have done for this one here. I still have to make the handles for this one. The frills are going to be worked into these front loops that are visible here. Since I am going to make this into a backpack, I am going to make a few more rounds to make this deep enough. Chain 1 and then single crochet in each and every stitch all the way around and slip stitch at the end of the round on the first single crochet to join. Here I have made 40 rounds, I think it is now deep enough for my backpack. For round 41, we are going to be making the holes for the drawstring. To do that, chain 1 to start and then place 1 single crochet into the first 8 stitches. Then chain 1, skip 1 single crochet and then place 1 single crochet into the next stitch. That will create a hole. Now continue to work 7 more single crochets into the next 7 stitches. You will have 8 single crochets in total. Then again chain 1, skip 1 stitch and then single crochet into the next stitch and we are going to repeat this all the way around to form 8 holes in total. After you have finished making your last 8 single crochet stitches, chain 1 and then slip stitch on top of the first single crochet to join. And that will bring you to the end of round 41. For round 42 we are again going to be doing 1 single crochet in each and every stitch all the way around. And in each of the chain spaces, we are going to do one single crochet. When you reach one of the holes, just place one single crochet into it and then continue like normal. In the end, I will slip stitch on top of the first single crochet to join. At the end of round 42, I have 72 single crochet stitches. Round 43 is going to be our last round. Chain 1 and then place 1 single crochet in each and every stitch all the way around. At the end of the round, slip stitch on top of the first single crochet to join. Now we are going to make the flap for the bag. To do that, first slip stitch into the next 4 single crochet stitches. Our goal is to make the flap even with respect to these two holes. One more slip stitch for a total of 4. Chain 1 and then we are going to place 18 single crochets into the next 18 stitches including that first stitch. 
Here I have made 18 single crochet stitches. As you can see, it is centered with respect to these two holes. Now we are going to be working into rows instead of rounds. Chain 1 and turn your work and then place one single crochet in each of the 18 single crochet stitches. At the end of the row, single crochet into the last single crochet. Then again, chain 1 and turn your work. Make 10 rows like this. Here I have made 10 rows. On the 11th row, I am going to make the hole for the button. To do that, chain 1 and turn your work. And then place 1 single crochet into the first 8 stitches. Then chain 2, skip 2 single crochet stitches and then place 1 single crochet into the 3rd stitch and then finish the rest of the single crochets like you normally would. For row 12, chain 1 and turn your work and then simply place 1 single crochet in each and every stitch and for the button hole in the chain 2 space just place 2 single crochets. At the end of row 12, chain 1 and fasten off. Now I am going to do the ruffles along the top and the bottom of the strawberries. To do that, wrap your yarn on your crochet hook like this and then make one slip stitch into any one of the front loops to join your white yarn. Chain 3 to act as your first double crochet and then place two more double crochets into that same stitch. Then again place 3 single crochets into the next stitch and also work over the tail. Continue to make 3 double crochets in each of the front loops all the way around and at the end of the row slip stitch on top of that third chain of the first chain 3 to join and also do this along the top row. I am also going to add ruffles along the edge of the flap. To do that wrap your yarn on your crochet hook like so and then join it to any one of the corners. Chain 3 to act as your first double crochet. And 2 more double crochets into that same space walking over that tail. On top of the next row place 3 more double crochet stitches. Repeat this on top of each row all the way across. Once you have done that, continue to make 3 double crochets on top of each of these single crochets and then also on top of these rows. Here all the ruffles are done, it looks adorable and now it's time for the straps. For the straps, I am going to be using a 5.5mm crochet hook which is one size smaller than the 6mm crochet hook I used for the body of the bag. For the straps, I am going to go one row up from the hole and then 4 stitches over, so right here. Wrap your yarn on your crochet hook like this and then slip stitch into that stitch to join.
chain 1 to start and then place one single crochet into the next stitch then place two more single crochets into the next two stitches For row 2, turn your work without chaining and then place one single crochet in each of the four stitches of the previous row. Not chaining to turn helps to make the straps more sturdy I think. The last stitch is a chain space so it will be a little tight. Continue to repeat row 2 until your strap is long enough. Here I have made the strap it's around 30 inches long. Now I am simply going to attach it to the base of the bag. We are going to sew it onto these front loops along the side of the base. Place it evenly the best you can and then slip stitch along that front loops. Insert your hook into one of the front loops. Yarn over and pull through the two loops on your hook. Again insert your hook into the next stitch and into the next front loop. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. Again into the next two stitches. Since we did not chain when turning, the last stitch is going to be a little tight. Then chain 1 and fasten off. We are going to have to weave in this tail. Repeat the exact same thing on the other side for another strap. It is best to keep track of the number of rows you made so you can make the straps exactly even. I had around 115 rows. Now I am going to sew on this button as a closure. Line it up with your buttonhole and then sew it on. This isn't the final button I am going to be using. I have ordered some very cute strawberry shaped buttons but they have not arrived yet. Once I replace this button for that one, I am going to upload that picture in the thumbnail. For the drawstring, I am using this crochet eye cord that I made in a previous video. I will link it in the description and an eye for it will pop up in the corner. I am threading it through the holes using a larger crochet hook. Pull on the drawstrings to gather up the top and then tie a knot. And finally secure the button. For adding tassels this is the easiest way I could come up with. Wrap your yarn around your fingers 10 times and then snip it along one end. Take a crochet hook and insert it into the end of the eye cord. Fold all your strands in half and then loop it on your crochet hook and pull it through.
Insert your fingers into that loop and pull through all the tails. Even out the ends a little bit and that's it. I will quickly show you how I made the handle for the basket also. Slip knot and then chain 20. Skip the first chain and make one single crochet in each of the remaining chains. Chain 1 and turn. For the next row we are going to do one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochets into the second stitch and repeat this sequence all the way across. Once your handle is done simply stitch it onto your basket like this. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.